Look at that thing. I have never seen this yet in the inside in the game before, but here it is. Just just X plane, big old X plane sign on this hangar. I guess that's like where the FBO sign would be at this airport, but they they, they put X plane on it. That's I've never seen that before, chat. That's pretty awesome. Come on, mouse, figure it out. We're in the blueberry. Big blueberry dolphin. We're in the serious vision jet. Thanks for coming in today, everybody. Look at that thing. I've never seen that sign before in X-Plane until right now. That's pretty awesome, actually. But they, uh, they have that slapped on what would be the FBO hangar here at uh, Pelston. I think I'm saying that right. Pelston Regional Airport of Emmett County. Helston Regional Airport of Emmett County. K PLN Papa Lima November. That's where we're gonna depart from. We're heading down to Fort Wayne International tonight for the event that they've got going on there. Give them a little bit of GA love. I decided I was gonna do a little IFR action in the Vision Jet. With some rough weather earlier at Fort Wayne, looks like it's cleared up though. So uh, we'll have the real weather going. I'm gonna use daylight hours instead of night. We'll get a little view of the X-Plane 11 Ortho for XP scenery. Obviously not going to be as good as Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but still pretty good. You know, it was the best thing we had for a while. Um, hey, Eric Flight, thanks for coming in today. I've never seen this before in X-Plane. I don't know if you have. That's, that's pretty neat. Um, all right, let's get inside here and get the show on the road. Instead of me talking for like 35 minutes. So, after tonight, I probably only have one or two more streams in me before I go to training. I did get my official training schedule finally. I am flying down to Dallas on the 28th, start class March 1st. So the streams are going to be, let's just say, few and far between thereafter, uh, since I am going to be going down. So, uh, I'm streaming tonight, obviously. I'll probably stream on Thursday because I'm going to be doing ATC most likely for the event that NYARTCC is doing at Stewart Airport, because it's my home airport, of course. So it seems like I should be obligated to... I believe I'm going to be on Stewart Tower for part of that event. I'll probably stream that, because it only makes sense, obviously, for me to do that. And then the Flying Club has events on Friday and Saturday. If I fly in either one of the events, it's probably going to be Friday in the evening. I'll probably stream that. That'll be right here in X-Plane 11 again um, for the Trees of Crowd. And then uh, Sun uh, no, Saturday, the afternoon event, I don't know if I'm going to be able to participate. It's Stewart Plymouth again, so Stewart again, my home airport. But I don't know because that's the last day now before I go to training. So I might be doing stuff with the family on Saturday in the afternoon. So I might not be around for that one, but Brand will host you guys for that one. It'll be us nice. So probably one or two more streams um, before I go to training. And I'm going to be learning the Embraer 175. I just said I wasn't going to talk a lot and start working on stuff, and I just talked a lot. Sorry, chat. Um, let us be again. Um, flight plan. There's no nobody online for Minneapolis Center. Last I checked, there still isn't. So we're going to be going with no ATC out of here. We'll end up talking to Chicago Center when we get closer to Fort Wayne. So for now, we're just going to clear ourselves as file chat. We're going to be departing off of runway 23. Uh, here at uh, Pelston. Oh, it doesn't even give it departure, so we'll just go right back to the flight plan. Uh, here's my route. Might as well bring this up and show you guys. Uh, I'm going to be taking off from up here, northern tip of Michigan right there. Or at least that part. Of course, this is Michigan up here too, this whole thing. It's a weird state. Anyways, um, we're going to take off from Pelston. Uh, Hussad first and then on in. Pretty straightforward route. Nothing crazy going on here. I just pulled a little flight plan that went on in real world today and decided I'm going to do it in the uh, vision jet. So that's what we got planned. We're going to go up to flight level 200. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that into the airplane. Um, so we got uh, Hussad is H-U-S-A-D. Got something trying to, my, one of my own eyelids I think is trying to attack my eyeball here, chat. Get out of there. Who's ad? There's the first fix. Now we got first, which is F R S S T. F R Sierra Sierra Tango.
And then, of course, the Fort Wayne is going to be our destination. I believe they're using the RNAV to 2-3 at Fort Wayne this evening. I'm not going to put that into the box yet. We'll wait till we get a little bit closer. But I'm uh, most likely going to get the RNAV approach to runway 2-3 uh, there. So let's go ahead and do direct to our first fix, get that squared away in the box. And we'll look at the flight plan. You can see we're facing that way. And we're going to be pretty much going straight south with this flight plan pretty easy. Nav data out of date. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to have to fix that after. I can't do that now because I'm already in the sim. Didn't realize that the nav data was out of date. Rip. That is unfortunate. I'm kind of bummed about that now, I'm not going to lie. But too late. We're, we're committed now um, to what we're doing. So we got the flight plan in. And again, we don't have any ATC, so we don't need to get clearance. We'll pretend we already got our clearance. So we just got a random little squat code in there. That's fine. Um, so let's go I guess since we don't need a clearance might as well just get the show like I said on the road I'm gonna get the flight director at least set up I probably should do that 2,000 feet per minute climb start off on a heading I'm gonna get myself to go to nav here once we get airborne the altimeter is already set got a low altimeter here again the winds favor runway 23 so let's go ahead and taxi ourselves to runway 23 where am I oriented on the field here I'm pointing towards the FBO so I need to go out to the left, I need to, or out to the right. Turn around, right turn on alpha to runway 23, chat is what I want to do. So let's do that. Okay, I also need to adjust the volumes because the last plane I flew was the uh, DA-62 and that thing's so loud that I always forget to adjust the volumes back. So let's go ahead and get the volumes back. There we go, now we can actually hear things. Very good. And we'll turn around here. We'll make a uh, right turn out to runway 23 via Alpha. Pelston traffic. Vision Jet 124, my Charlie taxi, runway 23. Pelston traffic. I think it's just so cool that that little X plane sign that it lights up and everything over there. It's pretty neat. I'm going to have to make a note of that for this airport. Tell everyone. Down with Sim, thanks for coming in today. I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Appreciate you stopping by. You and Eric both are going to have a little surprise in the mail later this week. Hope you all both are looking forward to that. Right clear, left clear. Imagining I'm the only aircraft that's at this airport because it's such a random airport. There is a nice handful of people. There's six departures on the ground at Fort Wayne, and then you got 19 arrivals into Fort Wayne. So it looks like they're actually going to get a significant amount of traffic for their GA event that they got going on on a Monday night. Always a good thing. In the factory tonight for the next Bush League, I am unfortunately not going to be able to attend the Bush League backcountry fly-in on Monday because... I fly down to Dallas on Sunday. I officially got my training down in Sim if you weren't here earlier. I fly down to Dallas Sunday. I start on Monday as my first day of training on a 175. So I will most likely not be able to do that or the April Bush League Backcountry flying either, unfortunately, because I'm going to be busy with training. But uh, I'm sure you got a good one cooked up. For all the boys and girls in the Downwind Sim Discord. This is definitely the beginning of back to work for me, Dallin Sim. I'm going to have about a month and a half's worth of training. Then I'm going to have my IOE, which is my initial operating experience in the Embraer 175. And then I'll be commuting to Dallas. So let's just put it this way. I have, after tonight, I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I've got five days left of free time. That's it. Five days left of, you know, spending time with the family and Delilah and, uh, you know, kind of just getting myself studied up and ready to go to training. And then after that, between training on the new airplane and then eventually having a commute to Dallas, not going to be streaming a whole lot. And I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot of flight sim stuff because I'm going to be doing the real thing quite a bit. So uh, keep you posted if you make it St. Louis. Yeah, well, actually, St. Louis is potentially one of the places that I'll be going for the sim when it gets time to go to the sims. Down with sim. It could either be Dallas, St. Louis, or uh, Charlotte. Um, so if I end up getting the sim in... Uh, St. Louis, you'll definitely be the first to know. 
Did I get an apartment in Dallas? No, I did not get an apartment in Dallas. I'm gonna still I'm gonna commute from New York to Dallas for work. It's probably gonna be a really crappy commute, but I did not get an apartment or anything like that. I have no intention of getting a crash pad or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna hope for the best with the commute since I should be able to commute to a regular schedule and not be on reserve. And you know, if I have to use a hotel here and there, then it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so we'll see see how it plays out i just know that uh, like i said this is really the last week of me not working and then it's going to be tons of work and it's not going to be a whole lot of flying on the flight sim uh the virtue USA flying club is going to be in good hands with all the other admin um so kenny monster thanks for coming in today good to see you my friend um yeah so i should really stop talking and fly the airplane right chat palestine traffic vision jet 124 my trolley departing runway 23 to the south palestine traffic So flight level, Rob, no, thankfully I'm able to deadhead uh, using my flight benefits from the company to uh, commute via airplane from New York to Dallas for my trips and back. So I don't have to pay for the flights. Otherwise, there's no absolutely no way that to, do, to do that. I think it's that flight safety in St. Louis for the Sim Down Sim. It's one of the three places I could go. I won't know where I'm going until they tell me, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Let me make sure I have the flap set actually before the takeoff here, chat. There we go. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Make our way down to Fort Wayne for the event. About 80 knots to rotate. I forgot to hit the heading bug here, so I'll do that right now so we can get ourselves runway heading. Positive rate. Gear up. A little bit of gust there with the wind. You can see him getting knocked around a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to have ourselves a ride tonight down to Fort Wayne, it looks like. Let's go ahead and click on the autopilot. We're going to go direct. We're going to hit uh, nav right here. We're going to let the airplane navigate to that. We're going to get the flaps up so that we can actually climb at an appropriate speed. Go to max continuous thrust, and we're on our way. And I'm just going to go now to flight level 200, which is my final since we don't have any ETC. Pelston traffic. Vision Jet 124 Mike Charlie departing the area to the south. Last call. Pelston traffic. Did some work in the ERJ Sim St. Louis Fears back with video production project. That's awesome, Dallin Sim. Yeah, if I do end up doing that, I am obviously gonna let you know because that's that's pretty awesome. I'm on our way. Fort Wayne. Okay, yeah, we're on Unicom for now. This is Minneapolis Center is not on. We'll get ATC when we get closer to Chicago Center. I'm on X Plane 11, so it's just the Ortho for XP that you're seeing. It's you are so spoiled now with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 because this definitely does not look as good as Flight Sim 2020. It's still good, but it's just not as good. Like I said, we're just we're just so spoiled now with Flight Sim 2020 with how the sim looks. That X Plane 11 doesn't really kind of live up to the hype when it comes to the scenery or anything like that. Climbing on out, uh, Pelston, on our way to Fort Wayne. Let's take a look here. That's uh, that's by. You see Fort Wayne's fully staffed. Couple approaches, delivery ground tower. They've even got uh, Grissom Air Force Base got an approach on. Three Chicago centers. You're gonna see me up here. I'm highlighted. Eventually, I'll get into Chicago Center airspace. They'll send a contact me, and I'll work with them on the approach into Fort Wayne. Last I checked, they were using the RNAV after only two, three. But we'll. Uh, Pick up the ATIS when we get a little bit closer for all that. As we continue to climb on out, let's see what the passenger would see off of our left here. Again, not as beautiful of scenery outside as it would be in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but it works. Full ortho for XP. I still have the entire US ortho for XP all the way out on my external hard drive, and that's all kicking tonight. So, it's something. That's a pretty good view off the right there, looking at the lake, actually. A little bit of uh, ski slopes over here, too. You see that, chat? Yeah? 
The ortho for XP makes this uh, even explain it. It looks good. You know, don't get me wrong, but it's just we're so spoiled now with Microsoft Lights in 2020 when it comes to the visuals that it's just kind of hard to to compete. Really, it's just on a whole other level. It's gonna reduce our vertical speed here. 1,500 feet a minute the rest of the way up to 200 since we're going to be crossing 10,000 feet below 250 knots here in just a second. Get a little bit of speed going in the climb if we keep our max continuous thrust. Got plenty of fuel on board for the flight. Not really worried about any of that. So we're just cruising along. And again, when we get closer to Chicago Center, we'll eventually get that ATC into Fort Wayne, give them the traffic that they deserve for a GA event that they've got going on tonight. Should probably let the flying club know what the dealio is. Actually, let me pull that event up for the flying club Discord so that everyone knows. Maybe more people fly in from the flying club here. Let's hold on a second. There we go. Put that in the flying club Discord. Yep. Uh, let's see. If I didn't do VR, I'd use Microsoft Flight some more, but I'm a bit spoiled by the immersion. So Microsoft, didn't they? Uh, they've got VR integration now, don't they, in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020? I've heard that it's not exactly great yet, but um, I, I heard that they do have VR integration now in Flight Sim 2020 and uh, a couple of their recent updates. Like I said, I've heard it's a little bugged, but I understand that you are still very much with the VR in X-Plane 11. And yeah, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, it, like I said, we're spoiled by it, just how good it looks. Because it's this, uh, you know, even with the Ortho for XP, it looks good, X-Plane 11, it just doesn't look as good as Flight Sim 2020. And uh, that's what I figured, that it's just not as good as X-Plane 11, because it's still not anywhere near a polished or finished product, that's for sure. Still got a long way to go uh, before uh, Flight Sim 2020 is anything close to what you would consider a uh, finished product. Let's put it that way. Let's see, where are we at in our climb here? Still looking good. Coming through 13,000 feet for 200 in our vision jet. I didn't see any reason to go higher than that on our way down here. It's not a super long flight down Fort Wayne. Another one of my pretty common recently short streams when it comes to the flying side. My longer streams have been on the ATC side. Which again, on Thursday I will most likely be doing a long ATC stream because I'm going to be uh, controlling for the NYARTCC event on Thursday night um, from 6 to 9. This guy right here. Port Authority Pandemonium KSWF. My home airport. Right there, chat, my home airport. So I'll be most likely controlling for three hours for that from 6 to 9 on Stewart Tower. Um, most likely. So I'll probably stream that. I'll also probably stream the Trees of Crowd event, assuming I can make it Friday night, which I think I will for Friday night at least. But it's Saturday afternoon's event um, that most likely I probably won't be participating in at this point. I think I won't. Um, but here is the upcoming, while we're still climbing out here, we'll come back in a second. Here's the upcoming events. Um, got Trees of Crowd, got uh, Ken and Brett, so that's Kenny Monster and Good Fixins hosting this one for the Flying Club on Friday night from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern. Like I said, I most likely will be participating in that one. I'm confident enough where I'm going to put the Cinnabon on it. I'll remove the Cinnabon if I something comes up. But uh, And then Saturday afternoon, we're going back to back. We've got uh, the second edition of the home field advantage that Brant's running. It's a crossfire between Plymouth, which is the home airport for Eric Flight, and Stewart, which is my home airport. Afternoon event on Saturday, and since it's my last day before I fly into Dallas, I just don't know yet, chat. And even if I do participate in this event, it will not be on stream. I would stream this one, but I probably won't stream this one even if I participate in. And then in March, got an event in March on Saturday the 6th. Eric Flight is going to be hosting for us an event that we are doing in connection, in partnership with the Denver ARTCC, they've got themselves a poker run going for all of that sim, but the Virtuous AR Tech has partnered up with them, and we're going to fly in for this event as well. So those are the three events that we have right now upcoming for the Virtuous Safe Flying Club. 
Hoping to bust some airframes that day. I'm assuming you mean on Trees of Crown? And yes, there will probably be some busted airframes. Let's put it that way. It is a Bush-style event that we have coming up for the Flying Club on Friday. Uh, so I am scheduled to be in training through at least the middle to end of April, approximately. I'll have some breaks in between. Like, I'm actually, when I go down to Dallas, I go down, obviously, on the 28th. I'm only there for three days, and then I actually come back home for, like, a handful of days. I just don't think I'm really going to do anything flight sim related in those handful of days um, while I'm home. We'll see, though. I might get bored enough where I will. It really all depends. Um, but um, then I'm going to be going back down there for, like, three weeks straight after that quick little break. Um, and then I'll have another quick, like, four or five day break um, after finishing up all the ground school and the systems and everything. Uh, and then after that four or five day break after that, then I'll be going to the Sims in either Dallas, St. Louis, or Charlotte um, for two and a half to three weeks again. Uh, and so that's kind of how my training profile looks right now. So sometime like middle to end of April is when I'm supposed to be done, have done my check ride uh, for the 175 in the sim, and then I'll be awaiting for IOE whenever they schedule me a trip for my IOE. I think I'll probably have to do two trips on the 175 to complete my IOE. And then after that, I'm back to just regular work. I'll probably have to do a little bit of reserve to fill gaps. Like either May or June, I might have to be on reserve for a little bit just to kind of fill a gap because they don't... Uh, give you like a half schedule if you finish your IOE in the middle of the month but then after that um, I will definitely be on a full schedule and I will be commuting to Dallas so God only knows how much free time I'll actually have I'm gonna try and work some magic with my schedule as best I can to give myself some blocks of days off and still hopefully be able to do stuff with you downwind sim and other flight sim people and obviously the flying club as well and uh, there's a lot of brand new coming soon. New airplane, new kind of lifestyle, having to commute. I have a feeling it's going to suck pretty badly, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. I'll make the most of what I can. I'm still getting paid, and that's the big thing. I got to work, you know. I'm getting paid by this company, and they expect me to work, so I got to work and do my job. It's the American way, right? So, that all kind of is what it is. I'm looking forward to the new airplane. I'm looking forward to getting back to working a regular schedule and flying a bunch again because I really just haven't flown much in real life at all in the past, I mean, year and a half. So I'm looking forward to all that, of course. The commute, not so much. But, um, yeah. Uh, Riptide Zeus, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in today. I know, Kenny Monster, right? The nerve of the airline to actually expect me to work for a living they're not just going to keep giving me paychecks to sit on my ass at home all day i actually got to go to training and then work how dare they um are they putting me up in a hotel if you mean for training yes the company is responsible for me in terms of hotels and all that stuff all through training all the way until i'm finished with my ioe after i finish my ioe that's when i'm starting that's when i become responsible for myself in terms of the commute but until then yeah the company is going to be uh, taking good care of me while i'm down there for training Everything should be good to go by the time I get down to Dallas, too. I know that the Texas has not had a very good week. But uh, I think everything's starting to get back up and running down there. And by the time I get there next week, it should all be good to go. So, uh, Kenny Monster, I live at home uh, with my parents right now. You know, And I guess I'm not really ashamed to admit that, even though I'm 29 years old. You know, Life's tough out there right now, especially with the pandemic and everything financially. You know, I'm, I'm living home to save money because I don't pay rent. And I'm thankful that my parents don't make me pay rent. They're very sweet to do that and to have me in their home like they do. Um, so my parents will be taking care of Delilah. So there's always someone home. Uh, my dad's retired, so he doesn't work. So he'll be home all the time for her. Uh, she'll just have to be without her favorite, unfortunately, for the time. Because I, I like to think that I'm the favorite in the household. And so as much as it sucks that she will be without me for long periods of time here soon she will always have someone here to take care of her so she'll be aight i'll definitely be paying a lot of extra attention to her for the next you know 
rest of the week before I go to training, without a doubt. She'll be getting extra belly rubs and extra play time, that's for sure. You can count on that, chat. That, that's a promise I'm making to you guys. She will be very much loved and paid attention to and spoiled by myself for the, you know, the remainder of the time that I'm here before I really go off to training, so... Yeah, starting salaries are not the greatest for pilots, especially at the regional level. I'm not going to talk too much about that, because, well, I don't know, you never know who's watching. Even though I'm never, I never say my company's name out loud with intent. Um, oh, chat, hold on. i got to show you guys something. I almost forgot. got to change the light, background light, so you guys can see it here. Hold on. Look at what I got. I have acquired... I uh, took some time here to uh, throw the Virtue USA Flying Club logo on a hat. I made a, a handful of them that I'm giving away to uh, some of the Virtue USA Flying Club admin uh, and other people that do uh, big contributions to the stream. I was only able to get so many uh, because they cost money, so I apologize for that. In the future, if someone in the stream does want one, uh, we can maybe work something out where if you give me a few bucks, uh, we can try and get more and uh, send them out. But uh, take a look at that. That came out way better than I thought, chat. Um, so, Eric, that was a awesome suggestion for you to get me to get this through uh, that uh, Queensboro because they, these came out incredible. And uh, so, yeah, I'm uh, definitely repping the Flying Club wearing that for sure. And again, a bunch of the admin at the Flying Club are going to be receiving that as well. I just sent them out in the mail today, actually, so those guys will probably get them as it goes later on in the week. Leave a webcam in your room so we can see her while you're away. Yeah, that I don't know. I'm not going to be keeping my computer on there in that time, Rob Valkyrie. I'm going to be doing a full shutdown of my computer when I go to training so that uh, it doesn't get fried or anything while I'm gone, just in case some weird shit happens at home. So, but yeah. I just want to show off the hat chat. Always rep the flying club. Pretty much everyone in the chat so far, for the most part, is flying club members. By the way, Riptide Zeus, thanks for coming in today. How's it going? For, how are you doing this evening? I did not mean to miss your message there. I apologize. I get off on tangents sometimes. Um... But I appreciate you. I appreciate that follow, and I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an outside view, and I hope uh, you're enjoying your Monday evening. Again, we're waiting. I'm wondering how much longer before I get a contact me here from Chicago Center. Eh, maybe still got a little bit of a ways before I'm going to get a contact me from Chicago Center on our way down here to Fort Wayne. Looks like they're decently busy down there, as I'm looking at Vats by right now off screen. Um, Pointed at Delilah's bed, called Delilah Cam. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I can run my computer for that long of a period of time. That would be just a waste of energy. What I'll do is I'll uh, make sure this week I'll take a bunch of pictures of Delilah and throw it into the Flying Club Discord this week so you guys uh, can uh, view her all you want while I'm away through the pictures. Flying as we speak in the same air. Nice, yeah, I love this vision jet in X Plane 11. Again, I really have spent the majority of my time in the last, like, three months doing Flight Sim 2020. But just the recently, like, the last couple of weeks, I kind of gotten back into doing X-Plane 11 just because I like the way that it feels. It just feels so much better. Looks not so much. It doesn't look as good as Flight Sim 2020, but it feels so much better. And especially when I do this IFR stuff like I am tonight. Yeah, I probably could have taken out the CJ4 on Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but the Vision Jet was just calling my name. And it just seemed more appropriate for the event this evening, so I decided to bust it out. So here we are. Plus, X-Plane 11 is a little bit easier on my computer. At Microsoft Flights in 2020 makes my computer work very hard, to put it mildly. Jet is your first name. Hey, man. We're in a jet. I fly jets for a living, and I fly jets in the sim. I must be some kind of dork slash nerd 
to not only work as a pilot in real life, but do all this flight sim stuff that I do. But I change it up. Obviously, I'm flying airlines in the real world. I do all GA in the sim, and that's with reason, because I would get bored of doing airline stuff in the sim that I already do. GA stuff keeps it honest. I really wish I had the money to do GA flying in real life again. Like, go and rent airplanes and do all that. I just don't have the money for that, Chad. I am broke. Like, broke, broke. I spent all the money... All the extra money I had, Chad, was spent on the hats. That, that was my fun money for the month that I spent on the hats for the flying club, so... Broke as fuck. Drek, thanks for coming in today, Andrew. Good to see you, sir. I'm going to blow up your spot, Drek, because the people in the chat need to know. So, Drek516 chat, he's actually one of my former students from when I back my flight instructor days. It's a small world, chat. It really is. Sorry for blowing up your spot there, buddy. But yeah, he was uh, one of my former students uh, when I was an instructor. I believe I got him to solo... I don't think I got him to the check ride. I think someone else got you to the check ride, if I remember correctly. But I did get you to solo. Um, so. That's something. How bad of a te an instructor was I? I? So, I enjoyed the students that I had, and Drek was one of the better students that I had. I will say that with confidence, that he was definitely one of the better students that I had at that uh, program. But, um, you know, I always I enjoyed my students. But, um, you know, I just didn't like instructing is why I got that job uh, with the charter company as quickly as I did. I just needed a way to get out of instructing because I didn't like doing it personally. Uh, but I enjoyed teaching my students. I liked the students that I had. I'm sorry to hear that you never did get your cert, unfortunately. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I do remember you had a little bit of the motion sickness issue. But, uh, I mean, you fought through it enough to be able to get through solo. I'm sorry to hear that you never did get through to uh, finishing the cert. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you're still, uh, obviously you're in the flying club, you're still watching the streams, you still got flights and going, so you still have an interest in aviation, so that is a good thing. Something that maybe you can circle back to down the road in the future. I'm going to really blow up your spot right now. I'm going to find the picture. I'm pretty sure I still have the picture of uh, us from when you had your first solo, so I'm going to dig for that now. Andrew, I'm sorry, but I'm really going to blow up your spot now. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, I might have to dig pretty deep here, chat. This might take a hot minute. Uh, too many posts. Uh, oh, good lord. This might take a hot minute. Did he pull the drop my pen trick? Pump? Oh boy. No, I didn't pull tricks like that. Hold on, I'm gonna find this picture, Chad. I'm sorry. Again, I don't I don't mean to blow up your spot, Andrew, but it's very rare that you get an opportunity like this when you're doing some random stuff like Twitch and then one of your students comes in to hang out. If I can even find How fucking far back do I have to go to find this? I have way too many pictures. We're going deep. I have a lot of pictures chat, but not of myself. I take a lot of pictures of the scenery and the stuff that I'm doing. And Delilah. I have a lot of pictures. A stupid amount of pictures of Delilah. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'll find it by the time we get to Fort Wayne chat. Eventually. Good lord. 
We're getting warmer because I'm getting to like the beginning of my beach jet days. So the beginning of the beach jet days would be closer to the end of my flight sim or uh, flight instructing days. So we're getting warmer. There we go. All right. Ta da! Oh my God! Look how hideous I look. Jesus. They did not make me shave when I was an instructor uh, there, and they probably should have. I don't know what my hair is doing, but there is Drek after his first solo. He's got his shirt tail cut off and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, look at that. A little blast from the past for you, chat, to prove that I actually was once an instructor. Way, 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 way back in the day. Yeah, that had to have been, um, when was that picture taken? It was on... Do, 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 do. November 24th, 2015. November 24th, 2015. I look like a ho Yeah, I did not look very good in that picture. I can't believe that they actually, like, that, that that place where I instructed actually, like, let me instruct looking like that. I have definitely become a much better professional now in terms of the way I dress for work. Let's put it that way. I do not look like that when I go to work for my company at the airline chat. But, uh, yeah, that's a nice little blast from the past. He's still got the leather jacket. That's awesome. But, yeah, you can see him holding the short tail. The man has soloed an airplane before. And, uh, like I said, he was one of a handful of students that I got to solo uh, when I was an instructor there. So, there you go, chat. You now have proof that I was not lying about being a flight instructor. I actually just shaved right before I came on stream, actually. Nice and clean shaven. Getting it prepped because it was getting really long. And uh, I really want to not have it be super long when I have to shave it again on Saturday night before I catch my flight down to Dallas on Sunday for work. So it needed to go. Plus, it was getting itchy. It's getting really itchy. What are we looking at outside? It's starting to get a little cloudy out here, so there's not a whole lot to see on the ground right now, but we are moving right along in our little blueberry. Something just fell out, out, out my door. I don't hear any screaming, so I think everything's okay, chat. If I hear screams, then we know we got a problem. Um... What was I going to do? I was going to check and see how close I am to potentially needing to talk to Chicago Center. i got to be pretty close, I imagine. Let's see. Not yet. Actually, it looks like I'm just like on the outside of the Chicago Center border right here with the way that I'm kind of going on the flight plan. So we'll see. Like I said, I'll wait for the contact me before I start talking to ATC chat. But uh, for now, we're just kind of moving right along here. Maybe it was over Syracuse. Uh, you mean that noise? Uh, nobody, nobody really watches basketball in this house. This is a hockey, soccer, football kind of house. And the reason why I'm streaming tonight, actually, Chad, is because the Devil's game, there's a Devil's game tomorrow night, so I decided tonight was the night to stream. Tomorrow I'll be watching the Devil's game. I'll be sacrificing the Devil's game on Thursday to control for that event at Stewart. That's why I've actually got the red going tonight, the red theme, because I'm just going to keep the red lights going for the Devils. How are the Devils? They've been okay. Um, I mean... Th Let's put it this way, that we weren't expecting much from them this season because it's just a lot of young kids uh, on the team right now and they're kind of going through a rebuild. Uh, they're almost done with the rebuild, thankfully, and the new guys, like the young kids, are looking really good, actually. So they've been pretty good this year, better than we expected. I don't think they're going to be an elite team this year. I don't know if they'll even make the playoffs this year, but they already look better than we thought they would. So we'll take that as a win. And they're giving me a lot of hope for the future. Well, let's put it that way. Tube of Flight. Thank you for the host, Tuba Flight. Three viewers coming over. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. We're in the our blueberry of the Vision Jet on X Plane 11, flying down to Fort Wayne for the Vatsim event that they've got going on down there this evening. We're at flight level 200 on our way. 
really do appreciate that host. Thanks so much. Should say raid, host, same thing. Appreciate that very much. Thank you. I don't know when I'm going to get this contact me from Chicago Center chat. I'm not going to talk to anyone until I do because I have no idea which center I would be calling. There's three Chicago Centers online. But uh, I'm sure I'll get something eventually going into Fort Wayne here. I'm not super worried about it yet. Uh, it's just, it stinks that there's no, there wasn't any Minneapolis Center on and there's not a Cleveland Center on. That would have been cool if, uh, if that were the case. Um, but uh, I guess they weren't able to get the neighboring Artex to get someone on center this evening. So we are lacking in the ATC department until we get closer to Fort Wayne here. But looks like they've got a decent amount of traffic going into FWA this evening. So uh, that's a good thing. It's always a good thing when the smaller fields, the GA fields, get traffic on the network. Greetings to you as well, Tube of Flight. Like I said, thank you for the host and the raid. Thanks for coming in today. Um, really do appreciate that. I would say we're about halfway to our destination of Fort Wayne. Still waiting to see what kind of ATC, who, which ATC is going to be calling us first for uh, some work here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to really quick chat, just via text, pull up the ATIS at Fort Wayne, FWA. So I'll pull it onto the screen so you guys can read it. Here we go. We got ATIS information, Sierra. Wind 210 at 13, so it's not super windy. Nine miles. Overcast, uh, so it's, it's pretty much... Uh, calm and clear nine miles so there might be like a little bit of haze or something going on it's minus one so it's cold down there and minus three so we'll have the anti-ice on when we're coming on through the descent through the clouds obviously 2983 altimeter our nav 23 in use so you know what i'm just going to put that right into the box then let me go ahead and pull this off the screen here um into our little thing here we'll go select approach um our nav to th two three load that in there let's see how are we going to potentially do that i probably should have looked at this um as well let's see our nav two three let's look at the chart Think. all right let's take a look at the chart together chat let's see um might as well put it off a of grabby actually since we're going to be kind of coming from the uh, from that direction so i'm going to do that right now i'm going to enter grabby we're going to load it load it plane uh so here we go um brief it real quick our nav to 23 final approach course 230 um looks like we've got uh, 3000 slider 2300s final approach fixed altitude at aqs then on down um, we should be able to do the lpv in this sim so lpv mins again 300 and three quarters the visibility and the weather is perfect fine out there so it's really just a visual backed up by this our nav uh, Miss approach, we climb 3,000, direct to Baco and hold, or tower instructed, since again, it is visual, most likely a left downwind, um, if we're going to do the visual. In that case, the airport elevation is 815, so the traffic pattern altitude, call it 900 plus 1,500 is 2,400 feet, so 2,400 feet would be the traffic pattern altitude. If we do have to go miss, then kind of go back around into the pattern, we'll set 2,400 feet for that. Um, and then, of course, we got plenty of runway there, it looks like, uh... Oh, I forget. Where do we park here? The FBO is over here, west ramp. Um, so we'll have a right turn off most likely at Charlie 2. If we don't make Charlie 2, then we'll either get the runway if they give it to us or Charlie 3, and then Charlie into the west ramp for the FBO there is where we're going to park. So that's kind of the brief for you guys. Hope that was easy enough to follow along. And again, I do now have the, uh, the procedure in uh the box here now you can see rnap to two three i've got that all in i put it off of uh grabby as well uh so everything is all loaded up and ready to go so for now we're just cruising waiting for that contact me from one of the chicago centers
How does the contact me work? So the controller has a, a message that they will send to you. It's like a little automatic message that will send to me. And uh, it'll pop up. The controller that sends the contact me will have their name, their controller name, pop up here in a new box. It'll, you'll hear a doot doot doot. It'll make a loud noise when it happens, Chad. You'll hear it. Believe me, it'll be doot doot doot. Uh, and then it'll pop up over here. I'll be able to click it, and there'll be writing that says, please contact me on this frequency. And so it'll be whatever one of these three Chicago Center frequencies most likely um, that does it. It's the same in V Pilot as it is in X Pilot Flight Level Rob. Same in both. Skies are clearing up a little bit here, it looks like, where we're at. According to the old Active Sky XP, get a good look at the Ortho for XP visuals that we got going on down below. Again, doesn't look as good as Flight Sim 2020, but still pretty good. Better than the default X plane. Worth all of the freaking, um, like, three, almost four terabytes worth of, uh, stuff that I have on my external hard drive for all that uh, ortho for XP that I have. Oh yeah, look, now with X-Pilot you can see all the other people around you on the TIS. That was something we were talking about. I didn't know if that was a thing, but it is. So we can see all the different aircraft that we got all around us now in the airspace here. It's pretty neat. All those targets out there. It's a target-rich area at the moment. We are now turning direct to the airport, Fort Wayne, which is our next step here. Again, we're uh, what are we? We're about 18 minutes out, chat, and we're at 200. So I don't have to start descending yet. I'm hoping I'll get the contact from ATC before I need to start descending. But otherwise, maybe we'll go down to something like 1616,000 feet here shortly um, when we get a little bit closer in range. I don't want to get too close and be stuck up high, but I think we'll be getting a contact me. Uh, Pretty quick. I think pretty soon here we'll uh, have some ATC to work with finally. Center that heading bug. Try and do that as much as we can here. Just waiting for that loud boop, boop, boop chat for the ATC contact. I guess it's got to be coming soon. And it is loud. You will notice it. How long is this flight? So I took off out of Pelston, um, oh, I would say about 40 minutes ago, and I got about 20 to go, so it was really only about an hour of flight time. It's not too bad. This is always going to be a short stream uh, this evening. Figured, uh, you know, they've got this nice event going on at Fort Wayne, again, one of the general aviation fields, uh, and since I'm very big on general aviation on VATSIM, a whole freaking club for it. Uh, I figured, you know, let's uh, give them a little love tonight, fly in for their small little GA event that they got going on. I um, feel like it is appropriate. Speaking of GA, while we're waiting for the boop, 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 um, if you're a VATSIM member and you're not already part of the Virtue Safe Flying Club and you enjoy flying GA style like we're doing tonight, or, you know, maybe not necessarily jet stuff. Um, but if you like doing, like, Cessnas and Pipers and all that kind of stuff, uh, consider joining the Virtue Safe Flying Club. General Aviation Flying Club on Vetsim. We do three or four events a month. 
bunch of good events coming up later this week. Um, some bush style event coming up on uh, Friday that I'm looking forward to on Friday night that I should hopefully be able to attend. I'm pretty confident Kenny Monster. I don't know if you were here before, Kenny and Good Fixins, but uh, I'm pretty confident I will be here for the event Friday night um, to join you guys. More confident than I am about Saturday. Um, so, But uh, yeah, if you're a Vatsim member and you enjoy GA Flying, take a look at that Discord link and uh, just make sure you read the rules on the welcome page, please, because there are some instructions that you need to follow to get set up. Gotta imagine that contact me's coming soon here, chat. I feel like I'm starting to touch the border of Chicago Center here. Again, so on VatSpy, the borders that you see for the centers are not 100% accurate. It's not a perfect uh, depiction of the borders, um, chat. But it's close. Um, so we gotta be pretty close to getting that contact me. Cinnamon buns. Warm cinnamon buns. Good fixings. Thank you for the five month resubscription. I do appreciate that. Thank you for the support to the channel, my man. Looking forward to that event you got cooked up with Kenny Monster on a Friday evening. Warm cinnamon buns. Damn it, now I really want cinnamon buns. You've done it. You've done it. I haven't had a cinnamon bun in a long time, chat. I gotta really potentially descend here soon. I'm gonna start down and then maybe get more descent, hopefully, when they boop, boop, boop me. But I gotta start to sound. I gotta start down here at least a little bit. We're getting a little bit closer. So I'm gonna come out down to 16,000 feet. Gonna give me a little bit of a speed boost here, but I'll take that to the bank. Gonna contact me, Chicago Center. I feel like I'm in airspace now. I would contact them on my own if I knew which one it was supposed to be, chat, but I don't. I don't know if it's supposed to be 3515 or 1985 or 3487. So I'm kind of just not winging it here at this point and like I said we're going to descend a little bit because we're getting closer and hopefully someone's going to give me the contact me here shortly please I'm online still right let me check yeah I'm still connected to the network as far as I can see I just realized my comp 2 is oh I don't want to do that Ikea has the best... I have had Ikea cinnamon buns in the past, actually, and you're right. They are really good. You're actually... You are very much correct about that. What is the... Alt I get it. Since I don't have an altimeter yet, I'm just going to have to set one manually. 2974, chat. 2974. Go with what Active Sky is telling me for now until the controller can tell me when we get one. Are we ever going to get a controller? Hello? Am I invisible on the network? I've got my... I'm, I'm, out, I'm mounting. Could have sworn I would have got some kind of... Uh, boop boop by now. Might just take a stab at calling one of the centers. Five fifteen twenty three thanks. Number three two two Delta five truck plan for the mission approach two seven left before um, two south center. Roger, we'll take two seven uh, two Delta five truck. Chicago Center Mercury fifty eighty nine eleven nine climbing one five thousand direct Gipper. America fifty eight nine Chicago Center Roger. For the room call sign at number 642 Papa Golf Plan is approached 27 left south end. 27 left south end, 642 Papa Golf. Center Vision Jet 124, Mike Charlie. Vision Jet 124, Mike Charlie, go ahead. Yeah, we are, uh, let's see, 55 to the north of uh, Fort Wayne at uh, 1616,000. Division Jet uh, 124, Mike Charlie, Chicago Center, Squawk uh, 1, Squawk 3127. 
3127. Did it ourselves, chat. We might have found the right one, too, on the first try. I had three chances, and if I got it on the first try, that's really rare for me, chat. Because even on the 50-50, I usually get it wrong. So that's that's good if I actually got it right for the, on the first try. On common for me. It usually doesn't happen. We'll let you know. We have the field detected. One one eleven thousand for my Charlie. There it is, chat. And I believe he said seven one, but we'll just go back to the ATIS and verify that. Is... Let's get a new ATIS here. Oh, it is an updated ATIS. It's uh, 2981, so let's go ahead and do 2981. Just get the ATIS, uh, the Barrow in for Fort Wayne there. They're doing the it's visual to 2 3 contact for Wayne approach 13215. for Mike Charlie. 13215. And we'll let him know we have Tango. I think we'll never get an idea for one that is. Four way approach, good evening. Vision Jet 124 Mike Charlie 15 to send in 11,000 with Tango. Vision Jet 124 Mike Charlie, four way approach, good evening. Four way approach, two and one, fly heading 160, vectors for visual runway 23. I believe you said 160 for the visual 23 for Vision Jet 4 Mike Charlie. He's a little quiet, Chad. I gotta turn the volume up on him. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put the airplane direct to uh, the that initial approach fix of. Oh my God, plane! Listen to me, Grabby. We're already on heading, so it's not going to actually go direct. But we are now on the 160 heading, getting vectors for the visual. And again, we'll just back it up with the RNAV to runway 23. Vision Jet 4 Mike Charlie, turn right heading 180 to set maintain 4000. 180 4000 for Mike Charlie. 180 and 4000 on the altitude now, chat. So we're going to have to pull the power back because we got to get below 250, below 10. Um, and let's go ahead and descend at a faster rate here. About 2,000 feet a minute. There's our 250 knots. Down to 4,000. Four. We're doing it. We are doing it, chat. We're at the uh, coming close to the conclusion of this one. Sorry, Chad. I'm talking to the my s talking to my friend that cuts my hair because I'm getting a haircut tomorrow morning. She's just finalizing the time, so I'm gonna get myself a nice old haircut tomorrow morning before I go to training because my hair is long right now, so it definitely needs to be cut. It's hard to see on the webcam because I'm not super close to the camera, but my hair is much longer than it usually is at the moment.
pretty close to our destination here. I don't like it. Hope you guys are getting ready to pick your landing rate, guess, because I'm only doing the one landing tonight. So you'll start. Uh, well, you don't have to put them in the chat yet. We'll get, wait till we get a little bit closer here. But uh, start warming up what number you think. I'm just going to throw out there that my landings in this airplane have been really good lately. That's all I'm going to say. But you guys go ahead and start formulating whatever you think um, will be the landing rate for this evening. And I'll tell you to start posting them when we get just a little bit closer here. This is Jeff 4 Mike Charlie, turn right heading 200. 200 4 Mike Charlie. Slow our descent rate here as we're getting close to our level off altitude. Go down to this thousand feet a minute in just a second. You don't need to put the exclamation point predict. You can just put in a number, positive or negative, whatever you think is going to be uh, the landing rate. But uh, you guys are welcome to start putting the guesses in now if you want. We're getting pretty close here to the field. Geek Brunlia, thank you for coming in today, by the way. I hope I'm not saying your name wrong. I'm terrible with names. I like that. I like the confidence in the low number guess, though. I appreciate that. That always warms the heart. 5,000 for 4,000. Field's gonna be pretty much off our 12 to 1 o'clock. The sim is gonna kind of cheat for us because it's gonna give us the aircraft labels, but we kind of see the sim out here. And I'm gonna get Active Sky to refresh because I don't think Active Sky is 100% accurate with the weather right then and there. So I'm gonna make Active Sky refresh. Uh, and it's giving me a ceiling of broken a thousand. What the heck is going on here? That is not correct, Active Sky. Not even close. I'm gonna have to turn Active Sky off if it's gonna give me this crap. Not even close. All right, well, screw it. Active Sky is coming off because it's not giving me correct weather. Ooh. I forgot that it was gonna adjust the sim in terms of the wind, but. It Active Sky wasn't giving me good weather chat, so we have to turn it off so that I can actually do this visual. So I apologize for that. Vision Jet 4 Mike Charlie, to maintain 3,000. 3,000 for Mike Charlie. The winds were not very significant anyway, so it's not going to have much of an effect on our approach to landing here. It's not going to alter that in any way. If anything, it'll probably just make it uh, better for our landing, you would think, in theory. Sorry for the sudden loss of my Charlie Fort Wayne Airport at your one o'clock at one five miles for the field in sight. And we do have it. Field in sight, one two four Mike Charlie. Vision to four Mike Charlie, good visual approach, runway two three. Visual two three, four Mike Charlie, we're clear. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just gonna go direct to that final approach fix. And we're gonna throw it into nav. Super lazy about it. Actually, it looks like it's already kind of got the LPV all set in there for me, so I might as well just go ahead and hit approach and let the airplane uh, really do all the work for me, I guess. Hello? Are you going to do the work for me, plane? I feel like you're not doing it. There it goes. Okay, it's coming in now. All right, good, good, good. Should probably start pulling back the tower. Also, the tower is 19-1, so I should probably have that frequency ready to go. Descend for the tower. There we go. No, that's going to be our next handoff. Contact tower one one hundred point one. Good. 
19-1 for my trolley suit. There it is, chat. And we know that ground is 21-9, so let's go ahead and set that. 21-9 in the back. Stay ahead of the airplane as much as we can here. Go ahead and put in the first notch flaps. Fort Wayne Tower, good evening. Vision Jet 124, Mike Charlie, visual 23. Vision Jet 124, Mike Charlie, Fort Wayne Tower, good evening. Wind 2, wind 0, wind 0, runway 2 3, clear to land. 2 3, clear to land, Vision Jet 4, Mike Charlie. So we're clear to land. Runway in sight. Get those landing rate predictions in now, chat. Now is the time. We're coming up on the approach. GP's coming in. Go ahead and put a number in the chat, positive or negative, it doesn't matter, it means the same thing. What do you think my landing rate's gonna be? We don't give away prizes, really, for the landing rates in this chat, but you do win pride if you get it right, or if you're the closest. And pride is, uh, pride ain't a bad thing. Hey, Zach Bartik, thanks for coming in today, buddy. Good to see you, Zach. Lots of familiar faces tonight. Again, a little bit of ortho for XP action. Not as good as Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but it ain't bad either. LPV is taking the airplane for us, but you know what? We got the runway in sight, chat. I feel like it would only be appropriate that we go ahead and do that. Turn the autopilot off. Let me fly it by hand the rest of the way here. It seems like the best thing to do. So I am hands-on. Doing the visual the rest of the way. Into 2-3. Don't do a floaty McFloat face. <laughs> I'll try not to float too much. My landings in this airplane have been really good lately, so I'm hoping that that streak continues. Final approach fix, altitude checks, gear down. Three green on the gear. Nice and stable. It's the kind of approach you want, chat. You want a stable approach. If you were not stable, you'd be going around. But it certainly looks like the runway is ours. There's some activity down there. It doesn't look like anybody's taxiing out to the runway at the moment, though. Again, we talked about this, chat. I'm going to try and make Charlie 2 make the right turn off so we can go right to the FBO. See if I can pull that off. As long as I don't floaty float it, I should be able to do that. Let's go ahead and get the final notch flaps in. And we're going to go about 90 knots now on our approach speed. Fully configured, clear to land. Fort Wayne Tower, 7 kilo light with you. Happy says slightly high. Still pretty Tower good spotting. on the LPV. Last chance for your landing rate guesses, chat. Last call. If you want to put a Mike. number in, now is the time. We've got four predictions in so Prediction far. One, seven, Last seven, seven, call. Hold position. Traffic is on a four mile final. Holding position. Seven kilo Mike. I feel like I'm a little bit closer than a four mile final. I think I'm on like a two mile final. The LPV says I'm low, but the Pappy says I'm rolling right on now. Okay, gear down, flaps are full. Now I'll actually start wanting to get closer to 80 knots, which is more the actual ref speed. Let's get myself back on the center line here. Let's see what kind of landing I've got in me tonight. A little bit more than I've been accustomed to. Minus 133. It's the first time I've been above 100 in this thing in a while. The pressure got to me. We'll make Tally 2 though. I don't know what taxiway this is. Is this where this guy's holding? That's where the guy's holding, so I'm not exiting there. Let's 
Don't want to exit there, chat. That guy's holding right there. We'll go to the next one. So who was the closest then to minus 133? It looks like Dalwin Sim is the only one that had 100 plus. So you, I guess you get that one, Dalwin Sim. Congratulations. This is uh, Charlie 2. Oh, this is Charlie 2. Wow, we stopped on a dime then if we were going to exit on Charlie 1. This is only Charlie 2, which is where we wanted to exit anyway. This airplane is very versatile. Four my Charlie's off on Charlie 2. This is Jet 124 Mike Charlie. Welcome to Fort Wayne. Contact Ground Point 9 and night. Ground Point 9, Fort Mike Charlie night. Ground Vision Jet 4 Mike Charlie, Charlie 2, taxi the FBO West Ramp here. November 124 Mike Charlie, Fort Wayne Ground, uh, taxi straight ahead. Um. Straight into the ramp for the FBO for Fort Mike Charlie, thank you. So I've been to this uh, airport and this FBO in real life chat. It's actually a very, very nice FBO that they have at Fort Wayne. And the sim actually makes it look good. Like, this is kind of exactly what it looks like. It's one of the rare times when the sim actually kind of gets it right. Or at least for X-Plane. Even Microsoft Flights in 2020 doesn't get the basic airports all correct. But I have been on this ramp, and I've been to this airport in real life before in this FBO. Uh, and again, it was a super nice. I don't remember what it was, like the name of the FBO, but it's super nice. Delta 360, contact tower, one way nine equipment, bye-bye. Good enough for me, that's some princess tower, parking right there. Let's go ahead and one, two, three, six, two, six. get the parking brake on, kill the engine. Go ahead, American 1888, we're ready to We'll go taxi. ahead and uh, open the old, American come on, mouse, come on, mouse. Two, three, taxi via Charlie. Open the Charlie door. Charlie, Charlie, one, American 1888. Let our passengers out at uh, mighty Fort Wayne, Indiana. All the lights and everything. Boom, boom. Our little blueberry has made it safe and sound on the ground to Fort Wayne. If I'm not mistaken, I think I know the voice of that controller chat that's controlling ground right now. I'm pretty sure that Fort Wayne ground. Oh no, maybe I don't. I thought I knew who it was, but I'm, I might be wrong. Never mind. Different person. Similar voice. Different person. Thought I knew who it was. Anyways, we're here. Welcome to Fort Wayne. Uh, thank you to uh, the Chicago ARTCC for putting this event together this evening and for the generous ATC that they gave me flying in tonight. Again, if you're uh, one of the flying club members and you're not doing anything tonight, why don't you uh, consider hitting up the, uh, the event that they got going on right now. Um, nice little GA event here at the Fort Wayne Airport on Batsim for your Monday night. Looks like they've got a pretty healthy amount of traffic, so that's good. I've just disconnected from the network so that I can do that thing where I talk now for like five more minutes before we go and host someone. Um, so we're getting tight here to the end of it, of uh, my free time chat, as we've discussed. Um, uh, the, I'm going to training on Sunday. I fly down to Dallas for 175 training. Uh, I think I've got one or two more streams in me. Uh, I probably will stream on Thursday night when I'm controlling Stuart for the NYARTCC event. And then I might stream also for this as well, depending on if I'm home or not. Or not busy. The Virtue USA Flying Club Trees Crowd event, which is on Friday night, 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern. That's the next Flying Club event. Make sure you're there if you're a Flying Club member, if you're around. It's a nice little bush-style event that Kenny and... Uh, Good fixings have put together. Kenny Monster worked on all three of these. Or Kenny Monster has worked on sceneries for X-Plane 11, and they're all very nice. I've checked all of them. They all work. They all look good. So uh, he's definitely put a lot of work into this one for us, and so we appreciate that. And uh, that's going to be the next event for the Flying Club. But uh, that's going to do it for me tonight. Another shorty. Only an hour and 20 minutes, but uh, we did what we set out to do. We gave traffic to the... Uh, Lovely ATC at Chicago ARTCC on Vatsim for the event that they've got going on tonight. And now we're going to hand you off to someone else, chat. And I know who to hand us off to. This is a pretty easy choice. We got Mr. Slant Alpha Adventures, our good friend Rob Sherman Jr. He is also flying into Fort Wayne, or flying out of Fort Wayne. I don't know which way he's going. I don't know if he's flying in or out. But he is flying in the event tonight as well. It looks like he is in the Mooney. And it looks like he's currently getting iced over. Holy macamoly moly. So let's go ahead and give him a nice big old raid chat. I'm going to get that set up. But before I go, I just wanted to say thank you for coming in today.
appreciate all you guys. Good fixings. Thank you for that resub. For all the people that followed the channel, thank you guys so much. Tuba Flight, thank you for that raid as well. I do appreciate it. Go say hello to Slant Alpha Adventures. Again, our good friend Rob Shruman Jr. He is flying in the event himself. He's in Microsoft Flights in 2020. He's in the Karen Mooney. Good night. Stay safe.